Okay, we're getting ready. It's time to head out on our 2023 RV adventure. We're getting the coach all warts and waxed. We've got all the services done. It's ready to go. We think we got the perfect plan, except for our old nemesis of that engine overheating. And what we've been doing the last year or two is driving in the early cool of the morning and uh, beating the heat and driving in the 60s and 70s. But we're so late going this year, heading out, that we're hitting the 90s, 80s, 90s, and potentially hundreds. So we got one more plan we're gonna try. We don't know exactly how it's gonna work. We tried it a couple years ago and it didn't work. We're gonna try it again this year and see how it works out. So come on, join us for our adventure. Well, what do you think, baby? Is it about time to get out of Yuma? We are getting there. <laughs> it's supposed to be 100 degrees this weekend in Yuma, huh? 102. Yeah. And I think we're headed up to uh, Boulder Beach. It's going to be what, the mid 80s? Yeah, the mid 80s or mid to high 80s. Yeah. So yeah. that's a pretty fair trade, huh? That's a real good trade. <laughs> I'm glad for the trade off. So you can see with the side radiator that all that air is going in right here on the side. And the mud flap is holding it in there, holding it up in the engine compartment. And it slowly gets forced out. But what I'm going to try to do. is go along just about like that with the, the engine door open about a foot. And that's gonna let more air go through there, I think, I'm hoping, and then get out. So the more it comes out, the faster it comes out, the faster it'll get to go in. So I'm hoping that's gonna cool, keep the engine running another 10 or 20, 15 degrees cooler maybe. We got our fingers crossed. I drilled some pins right here where I can pin it and hold it right, th right there. That's about three inches. But I'm going to try to open it a little more. I tried that once before, a couple of years ago, and it didn't do a whole lot of good. But I'm thinking, I got a bungee cord in there. I'm thinking I'll bungee it down and run it about a, open about a foot. So we'll see. You'll see on the... Uh, video we're leaving and driving from Yuma up to Las Vegas, about a 300 mile, three or 400 miles, I'm not sure. And I've got one section where there's two or 3,000 foot climb in a fairly short distance, and it's going to be in the low to mid 80s, I believe. So that'll give us a pretty good test. We'll know pretty soon. Okay, it's almost 10 o'clock, about 81 degrees. We're on, we're on Highway 95, about 100 miles south of Vegas. And we're just starting our climb from about 500 feet up to around 3,500, I think. And normally, with this uh, big of a climb and this short of a distance, we'd get up hitting temperatures of 210, 220 degrees. And that's with us downshifting pretty regular and keeping our rpm wound up we've got the engine door open but the shutter you can't really see it through the camera here pearl can maybe swing to the right get rid of that shadow there you go you can see just a little bit better so hopefully that air's coming through the radiator even faster and co getting that engine cooled down the engine's at 177 degrees and hopefully we'll stay below 200 but i don't know Okay, we're almost to the top of the climb. We've got another couple of hundred feet in elevation to go, but it looks like we're gonna make it. The air pressure may be pushing that door open just a little bit more. It looks like it's wider than it was. We got very strong crosswinds coming from the right. And so that's kind of holding the air from coming in the radiator a little bit, maybe. What do you think, baby? Is it climbing better? Well, it seems to be climbing quite a bit better. I I got to relax a little bit and eat a cookie. Oh, yeah? Can you see the end of the hill? I'm seeing the hill right there. Right in front of me. And what do we do? We got up. It's 190 now. And uh, what's the highest you saw? 192. 192. 192. And it's uh, 82 degrees. It warmed up a little bit. 1047. And 192 still running pretty cool. That's nice. I don't think the fan totally kicks on to 197 or. Oh, really? I think so. Okay. So we're doing good. Average speed is like 55. 
between 55 and 60. Yeah. So that's pretty darn good going uphill. So you think we got to overheat and whooped? Oh, boy, I don't want to speak too soon. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. We'll know in a couple of weeks when we go up to Lake Tahoe, huh? Absolutely. Right. Well, that's just about the end. Yippee-i-a. You think it's going to rain? Look how dark it is. And the <laughs> clouds are just everywhere. That's quite a switch. We first got here about a week ago, and it was uh, like 80, something like that. And then boom, it went right up to right 100. Right up to the, yes. So we didn't yes. get, we didn't escape the heat from Yuma like we thought we would. <laughs> but now it started cooling back down. The next week we got mid 70s to low 80s. Low 80s. Yeah. So it should be pretty good. We got some friends coming up, Pete and Debbie. They're going to join us for two or three days, three, four three days. Three days, three days, I think. We so haven't seen them in a number of years. It'll yeah. be nice to see them again. Back in Zion, like in 2015 or exactly. something. Exactly. Like it's been a while. Well, we saw them at their house in like yeah, 2018. When we first started RVing. Yeah. I mean, uh, full time. Full timing. So, what do you think? You are you kind of back in the RV attitude now? I'm back in it. This was a good place to take our first trip to, so we could relax and. It's Remember. perfect. It's not a, exactly an RV park. It's a campground. It's got nice sites, a lot of room, a lot of trees and yeah, vegetation. Room. And uh, but no hookups. They got a dump, and they got water. Right. And then we got all kind of plenty of solar on the roof. Our next site is right over yonder, going to be in trees. So we're going to have to use our portable yes, solar. Yes, but that's okay. That's okay. We're going to, we're going to get closer to the lake. Get <laughs> a little bit closer. It's about a half a mile down to the lake. Or, but we're ready, huh? For a mile. <laughs> yeah. We're ready to start get our RV adventure going. We had a great drive up here. The RV is working perfect. Nice. There's almost not a thing, no problem at all. At least not anything that matters. And uh, this is about the best shape we've been in. So far, so to, good. Yeah. Knock on wood. <laughs> so we're going to be on the road till November. We've got about six or seven months. And uh, we're really looking forward. It's been great being in Yuma, having a house. It has been. But it, if have we got these e-bikes, that's going to be a whole new thing for us, riding e-bikes around and uh, keeping them charged up. That's going uh, to be a bit of a chore. Yes. But I think we can handle it. And uh, headed up to the Pacific Northwest. Ready to go see some family. Yep. Friends and family. Friends and family, yes, yep. true. True, true, true. So thank you guys for joining us. We're going to, we got another two weeks here. So you're going to see more of this campground. And uh, hope you follow along with us as we head on up north. Find the cooler weather. Yes. It's been, we've been doing, there's another bird attacking one of them big birds. Yes. They're doing a lot of that. Yes. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that surprising? It is. Oh, here comes the sun. Yep. I think it's a pretty short visit. We're down to 33% power on our batteries. Inside? Yeah. You better get them solar panels out, mister. <laughs> well, hopefully the sun will come out yeah. and we'll uh, get to catch up. That's but anyway, sweet. let's sit here. It's going to rain. start raining here in a little bit. We're going to sit here under the awning, read our books, drink our coffee. When the rain quits, we'll fry us up some bacon and eggs or some blueberry, more blueberry waffles. Blueberry waffles yeah. would be good. And then we're going to... easier. What do you say? We got a tri-tip we're going to smoke in a day or two? Yeah. Good. Yes. All righty. I'm ready to see what's happening in my Clive Cussler adventure. <laughs> Enjoy. <clears throat> so I don't know if you can tell it or not, but we still got a ton of clouds. It's coming and going, sun and then shade. It's all about one o'clock and we're up to 50% power on our battery. So they may or may not get fully charged. But just in case, we've got 800 watts of solar here. We're doing a product review for one of the big uh, portable power station companies. And they sent us 800 watts of solar and a 2400 watt hour portable power station. Plus we've got a couple of uh, small ones that we take with us all the time. And so we're gonna get these out and see if they can help us out a little bit. And that's the beauty of these portable power stations. Is they help you supplement. At our next location, 
just uh, right over here, two rows. We got them to have shade all day, so these are gonna come in real handy. We'll keep them all four set up most of the days just to keep things going. We just don't like running the generator. But if we hit some more 100 degree weather, and we probably will, we have to run the generator for the air conditioner. That's how we kept it. It was 100 degrees outside one day, and we had it like 83 or four inside with the three air conditioners. Solar don't help any with that. But just the day-to-day -day running the microwave and the TV and just all the stuff we do. Pearl does her fingernails and stuff, so she got to hook that up and needs power. And ice maker. We make ice all day, every day, in our little portable ice maker. And drink cold ice water. Tastes better than cold beer. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and set these up. Our next video, be sure to tune in. And you'll see how they worked out if if they uh, helped or not. So that just about covers it. Till we see you guys again next time. Keep the wheels rolling. Stay safe. We'll see you at the next exit, guys. Bye-bye. It's drying the gel that I put on the nail. That's wrong about this USB port here. It's pulling that 43, 44 watts. And then next we're going to hook up the ice machine. Make a little ice.